Hi, my name is Beast, and if you're like me, you have no idea what you're doing and you've never done this before. Today, we're gonna make breakfast bugs. Essentially, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this pepper, you're gonna slice it open, have two halves, we're gonna scramble some eggs, good little protein scramble, we're gonna put it on the pepper, and we're gonna eat it. It's gonna be delicious. I hope. Let's get started. <laughs> Most people cut their peppers in an unsafe way where they have their hand here and there's blades and fingers and that's bad. Here's what you should do. Have your hand on one side of the pepper and your knife on the other. Push in and then just turn the pepper and watch, voila, pepper has. Just give it a little twist. This one's already ready. This one, you're just gonna fish hook it. You're gonna pull that bad boy out. Yeah, look at that. We don't want that. Throw it away, nobody cares. All right, we got two good peppers. Now it's time for step two. Heat up the oil. So we're gonna wanna heat up our pan first before we put oil into it. I'm sure there's some science behind that that you can probably point to. I don't know it, I've never done this before. So, once that pan is nice and hot, we're gonna put a little bit of oil in, take our pepper halves, and just slap them face down in there. And it's gonna be good, I think. So, I have my exposed flesh over a extremely hot piece of metal, which is never a good idea. You should never do this. Um, I put a few of the pepper seeds in the bottom of the pan that I saved. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a splash of oil in, and if the seeds start to fry, it means the pan is hot enough. So wish me luck. And there we go. See little bubbles around the seeds? It means the pan is hot enough. Also something you should never ever do, put your hands into extremely hot oil. Never ever do this. Oh yeah, listen to that. Alright, make room. So we're just gonna we're just gonna leave these here. Move on to the eggs. So we got two eggs, one for each pepper half. We're just gonna crack them into a bowl, scramble them around a bit, and uh, add some seasoning. Salt, pepper, and a dash of parsley, because we're fancy. So our peppers are hissing, which I think means they're angry. So let's check to see if they're done. We're going to turn off the heat first. This is a good idea because the heat is why the oil is flying everywhere. And I don't want to get burned. We're going to take the trusty fork that we used to whisk, and we're just going to lift up the peppers. And that's what we're looking for right there. With this nice little brown outside. Now it seems like we only got one side of the pepper, so we're just gonna we're just gonna flip them so that this side is gonna get cooked in the oil. Gonna take two. Really good at this. Yeah, I know. This is awesome. 
we're gonna cut all that out. Alright. So I turned the heat back on just a little bit, because uh, our peppers aren't quite done. But that gives us time to dice the onion. Got a little red onion here. I'm just going to take our knife and I'm going to chop off this little bit on the top. So you have the top and the bottom. This is the root. This is the top. We're going to cut that off. Throw it away. We don't need it. Nobody likes it. And then what I like to do, which is not very, you know, it's kind of wasteful, but it's expedient, is just make a little cut in the onion and then peel away that layer. That way you're bound to get the skin as well. And you might not be able to see this, but my trash can is right between my legs. So that makes it easy to throw things away. I'm going to turn off the peppers because they're probably done. I don't know. I've never done this before. Now, following that guide cut that we made to peel the onion, I'm just going to go ahead and chop it straight down the middle. And to do that, I'm going to place the knife first in the cut that we already made. Put my hand over it so that my hand isn't under the knife. That's smart. We're probably only going to need about half an onion, maybe not even that much. Let's go for it. I'm going to put my hands on top of the onion and the knife midway, and I'm just going to pull the knife towards the palm of my hand, like so. Alright. That way we have a nice little split here. And then we're just going to chop like that. Again, fingers around the knife, not under the knife. We have ten fingers and uh, it's usually a mark of adulthood if you have all ten by the time you're my age. Look at that. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Throw that away. Nobody needs that. So we'll just uh, just take all this glorious stuff. We'll just break it up a little bit. Don't touch your face. Onions make you cry. Onions are mean. Wash your hands after this. That's why this is here. Alright, so peppers are done, I think. Maybe, who knows. Certainly not I. That looks good, right? I would eat that. So, again, not with your bare hands, because that's not smart. I'm just going to put that in a plate that I had waiting nearby. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. I'm going to let these, let these bad boys sit on the side here and just cool off. They've been hissing and spitting at me for far too long and I think they just need to take a time out. We're going to put them to the side. Now, we have all this oil left over in the pan which is fantastic because we don't need to add any more. But if you didn't use enough oil, you should add more. Let's put the onions in. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use about half of the onions that I chopped up. That's okay. Because I was prepared with a sandwich bag. Never waste food. It's kind of a bad thing. Food costs money, makes people happy. I like food. So always save any leftover bits you have. Who knows when you'll make pepper boats again.
ready for next time. All right, we're gonna turn the heat back on. To what? We're gonna turn the heat back on, just kind of high for now, just to get the pan hot again. And in the downtime, I think it's cooled off a bit. But once we start to see the uh, onions bubble around the edges, that's when you can turn it down to about halfway. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shake them up a bit, just sort of rock their world. Oh. Oh, what's that onion? Yeah, rocking your socks off. That's what you get for making me cry. So, onion's looking pretty good. Um, and red onions don't have a very powerful flavor. They tend to be more mild. So as you cook them, they get milder. So they're, they're pretty easy to eat raw, is what I'm saying. We're going to take the eggs that we scrambled earlier and just dump them in here. Mmm. Lovely. Consistency of snot. Little green bits. You almost might think that I sneezed in the frying pan. It's going to be so good. Now while this is frying up, you can see the edges. Also, never stick your finger in a frying pan. That's stupid. Don't, don't do what I'm doing. You can see how the edges are white and yellow and basically getting cooked. Got some sesame seeds. I'm just I'm just gonna mix it up a bit. Who knows? Uh, not me, certainly. Little little nutty deliciousness just all up in my eggs right now. We're just gonna we're just gonna let that sit. Just just let it be. Alright, so it's been like three minutes. The eggs are pretty much done. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sort of mash them around the frying pan here. Just to make sure any loosey goosey snotty bits are fully cooked. the heat. So that looks pretty good. Smells pretty good. I don't know. I've never done this before. Um, let's put it on the pepper boat. Alright, so I'm just going to scoop some, place it in here like so. Yeah. I'm going to break it up into smaller pieces as needed just for ease of transport let's be honest pepper boat not the most reliable of uh, sea craft Now if I really wanted to go crazy, I would put this pan back down, I would turn the heat back on, and I'd put like a piece of bread in there just to wipe around and soak up all the oil, and little bits of egg, sesame seed, whatever's left in there, and I'd make a piece of toast. But I'm not gonna, because I have no bread. <laughs> Here we are. Delicious breakfast barges pepper boats in their in their glory they're uh they're cooled off from when we put them on the plate so um i'm just gonna give it a go wish me luck yeah it's actually edible uh-huh mm. Oh yeah.
I'm congested sesame seeds too. I didn't think that would happen. Hmm. It is a little. It's still a little oily around the skin of the pepper. So if you want to use a fork and knife, by all means. I'm a barbarian. I don't even care. Mmm. This is pretty good. I'm starving. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Beast, how much did this meal cost? Well, you can typically get a green pepper for about 79 cents. Um, the eggs, it's like three bucks for 18 is what I got. But between two and three dollars for a dozen eggs. Uh, the red onion is, I think it's like three dollars for two pounds of them, and you get like six. So let's just call that, I don't know, let's call that a dollar, just to be safe. So a dollar for the onion, a dollar for the pepper, 50 cents for the eggs. Um, sesame seeds, salt, pepper, parsley, and oil, those are all things that you should just already have stocked, so I'm not going to include that in the price, but, you know, 250 for this. Not bad. Plus we have some onion left over, so you gotta factor that in. All in all, pretty cheap eat. Now look, I haven't even started on the biggest half yet. Mm. I'll be back in a moment to teach you how to cook lunch. <laughs> 